On the eve of Australia Day, Republicans say there's growing momentum for an Australian head of state. With the Prime Minister, opposition leader, premiers and chief ministers backing the idea, Republicans say it's time to put the question to the people. Nick Dole reports. The proudest moment of my life. Following the 1999 referendum result, Australia's chief Republican was quick to condemn John Howard for an alleged lack of leadership. He was the Prime Minister who broke this nation's heart. Now Malcolm Turnbull's in the lodge himself. You could say this is our housewarming party. And Republicans are celebrating. We're a chance. We could actually do this now. The federal opposition's on board. Well, I'm, I'm a Republican. I support it. State and Territory leaders do too. I think it's the next stage in our development as a nation. We are an independent country. I think it's time that we stood on our own two feet. A letter calling for an Australian head of state's been signed by every state and territory leader with one notable exception. The signature of West Australian Premier Colin Barnett is nowhere to be found. He sent me a very nice note <laughs> and it was, you know, we were going back and forth and he sent me a very nice note saying he's a Republican. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's no secret Colin Barnett wants a republic. He actively campaigned for one ahead of the 1999 referendum. But in a statement, he said he didn't think public opinion had shifted enough and that it's too early to be asking the question again. I just don't like the idea of a foreign person being the head of our government. I just can't see how it will really affect how we live our lives day to day. Monarchists say public opinion of the royal family is far more positive now than it was in the late 90s. The Queen had her annus horribilis and there were tensions about maybe the marriage of Diana and Charles and I think now people have moved away from that sort of uh, feeling. Malcolm Turnbull's previously said a new referendum's unlikely before there's a new monarch. Her reign may outlast his own. Nick Dole, ABC News.